Hello everyone, I am Madhusmita Burwa, Assistant Professor, Center for Open and Distance Learning, Tespur University. Today we will discuss on the topic defining research problem which is a part of the course communications research methods for the program MA in mass communications. First, uh, let's start the discussion defining the concept of research. The authors C. R. Kothari and Gaurav Gag in their book Research Methodology, Methods and Techniques explain the concept as the search for knowledge through objectives and systematic method of finding solution to a problem. The purpose of research is to discover answers to questions through the applications of scientific procedure. The main aim of research is to find out the truth which is hidden and which has not been discovered yet. In other words, research is scientific and systematic approach for finding new knowledge on a particular topic. In research, the topic of your study is termed as research problem, which is your area of interest which you would, you would like to inquire into. In a given diagram, you can see the flow chart of the steps required for conducting a scientific research. The steps are define research problem, review the literature, formulate hypothesis, design research, collect collect data, analyze data, interpret and report. Now we will focus on the first step of conducting research that is defining research problem. Identification of a research problem is the first step in a scientific inquiry which requires a systematic investigation into a phenomenon. It is significant for a research to understand an issue which needs to be studied. In other words, a research problem is about exploring a phenomenon in order to advance new knowledge as well as to enhance the existing knowledge. While ident identifying a research problem, you as a researcher should understand the rationale of selecting a particular research problem for your study. A research problem can be defined as the one which requires a researcher to find out the best solution for a given problem. That is, to find out by which course of action the objective can be attained optimally in the context of a given environment. In other words, a research problem can be based on a particular issue or a phenomenon related to any aspect of the population which is considered for your study. This issue can differ from population to population under study based on its different dimensions. For instance, a research problem can be formulated on the basis of any socio-economic or political problem faced by a group of population which can be studied through scientific inquiry in order to find out the solutions for the same. In selecting Selecting such a research problem, there must be some, some well-defined objectives that the study attempts to attain through the process of collecting and analyzing data. These objectives should not be vague in nature in formulating the research problem. Before selecting a research problem, you can ask the following questions in order to understand is its uh, suitability. First. Is the topic important enough to be researched? Because it is important to justify the significance of conducting a research on that particular research problem you have chosen. Secondly, is there any novelty in the research? Novelty or newness in your study is one of the important factors which determines the significance of your study. Is the topic interesting to be researched upon? Fourthly, would you get sufficient literature on the topic? Review of literature is the second step of conducting a research and while formulating a research problem, you need to look for sufficient literature on the topic you are going to do research. Is there any practical application of your research? Is the topic feasible enough? Will you be able to complete the research work in the stipulated time frame? 
So these are some important questions you need to ask before formulating and finalizing, finalizing a research problem. A study can be conducted on two different types of research problems such as research problems which emphasizes on exploring the state of nature of a particular phenomenon and the other is the research problem which aims at establishing a causal relationship between variables. Exploring nature of the phenomenon implies understanding different dimensions of a particular research problem without emphasizing on establish, establishment of any causal relationship between variables. Variable is an important concept in research which implies any concept or phenomenon which can be expressed in quantitative value which differ in numbers. Concepts such as weight, height, income are some examples of variables. Examples of a research problem which is based on exploring the state of nature of a particular phenomenon is a study on the scope and challenges of media education in Assam. On the other hand, one example of research problem which is based on explaining the causal relationship between variable is the study on the impact of print media coverage on COVID-19 disease and its impact on the awareness on maintaining hygiene of individuals. Here, the causal relationship will be between media coverage of the disease and level of awareness of the population on the study. In order to formulate both the types of research problem, you need to follow the following steps. First, statement of the problem, surveying the available literature, finding the rationale for the study, formulations of the research problem. Statement of the problem. It involves the process of stating the details of the research problem. In other words, the researcher needs to describe the problem or the issue which is addressed in the study. Statement of the problem provides the context of the research problem under study. Secondly, surveying the available literature. Before defining the research problem, you need to survey the existing literature in order to find out the findings of previous studies. Through surveying the previous studies, you should aim to identify the gap between the existing literature and the scope of extending this existing knowledge. It builds the foundations of the study and provides guidance to the researcher how to add new dimensions into the existing knowledge about a particular issue or research problem. Thirdly, finding the rationale for the study. After the extensive literature review, you need to establish the logical arguments why this particular issue needs to be studied. In other words, in formulating the research problem, you have to find out the reasons of selecting a research problem justifying its scope of contributing to the existing knowledge. Fourthly, formulations of the research problem. This final stage requires to rephrase the research problem into a proposition which is feasible to execute. This process includes defining the research problem in terms of some operational and analytical terms that will give you a lens to study the phenomenon under study. This formulation of the research problem needs to identify the appropriate theoretical or, or conceptual framework which gives an idea to analyze the phenomenon using such theories or concepts. While writing the first step, chapter of your dissertation, that is the introduction chapter, you need to write the statement of the problem. Statement of the problem in your study is an important element, uh, which is descriptions of the research problem that the study is intended to address. Writing the statement of the problem, you need to summarize a very broad and general research areas as a specific and focused issue. A reader should have a brief idea about your study through reading this statement of the problem. Statement of problem also gives an idea about the knowledge gap exists in the available literature and also projects the purpose of the study to fill this gap. In other words, it gives a clear idea about the issue or the topic of the research and also provides the context to formulate the research questions. Based on the statement of the problem, 
the researcher frames the research question to find the answers to the problem addressed in the study. The significance of statement of problem in a research is that it justifies why a particular issue or topic needs to be studied with proper scientific inquiry. It as establishes the rationale of conducting the proposed research. It also gives the vision to researcher about what the study is going to contribute to the existing knowledge. A statement of problem should be relevant in the sense that it should be a researchable problem which is innovative in nature as well as feasible in terms of money and time. While writing the statement of the problem, you need to keep in mind that it doesn't explain the methods of scientific investigation and also it doesn't predict any solution to the cited problem. It just simply identifies the importance of an issue for a study and only after the statement of the problem, other steps like selection of populations, research methods, research techniques, data analysis techniques are decided. So till now, uh, I, I hope you have understood the concept and importance of defining the research problem in your study. Another important step of conducting a research is to formulate the research questions. Once you are done, done with defining the research problem, you need to develop some core questions on which your study is based on. Or you may also develop hypotheses which will be discussed in the later part. Research questions are important in order to reach the aim and objectives of the study. Formulations of research questions provides the primary focus for the research based on which the study intends to find answers through the process of scientific inquiry. A research question can be developed after surveying the available literature of previous studies on the broad, broad research area under study. The basic objectives of formulating, formulating research questions for a study is to guide the different stages of research process, including developing the research design, deciding what kind of data will be collected, etc. The concept of research question can be defined as uh, formally stated questions intended to provide indications about something. It is not limited to investigating relationship between variables. This definition implies that the research questions rationalize the investigation through identifying the gap in existing knowledge and guide researcher to find answers for advancing new knowledge. In other words, research question addresses the ambiguity that comes within the domain of a topic under study which the researcher aims to resolve through the finding of the study. So here are some of the characteristics of developing good research questions. These are feasible, interesting, novel, ethical and relevant. So feasible. The researcher questions, the research question addressed in the study should be researchable one, which implies that there should be available resources in terms of literature on the topic under consideration and also studies should be feasible to conduct within the convenient time period as well as money required for it. The secondly, it should be interesting. The research question should be interesting for the researcher to investigate novel it is very important element of developing research question that is the study should be original in nature it means that if the findings of a study are already established by previous studies and there is nothing new in the current study the researcher needs to rephrase the questions which will address the knowledge gap and there and thereby will add new knowledge fourthly ethical Ethics in research questions again addresses the originality of the study which implies that the researcher should not just imitate previous studies without offering novelty into the study. However, research questions should be focused and specific eliminating all ambiguities in the studies. Relevance. Relevance of research question indicates the applicability of the findings of the study and its possibility to advance scientific knowledge as well as guide further research. 
Quickness in formulating the research question may affect the research design. Therefore, appropriate resources for developing the research questions are important as it may affect the quality of the study as well as expected results of the research. In other words, good quality of research questions is the foundations for a good research. In case of the research problem which aims to establish causal relationship between variables of the study, the researcher first formulate a hypothesis about a probable causal relationship between the variables. Here we will discuss the concept of hypothesis. It's a hypothesis is a presumption on which a particular study is conducted. Hypothesis helps in formulating research problem. According to Kotori and Gerg, uh, a hypothesis is a predictive statement that relates an independent variable to a dependent variable. In other words, a hypothesis is a formal statement about the possible answer to a research question. The basic difference between a hypothesis and a research question is that uh, the research question pose only general area of investigations, whereas the hypothesis are related. Uh, hypothesis are testable statements about the relationship between the variables. In other words, uh, research questions are not for testing the statistical significance of the findings, unlike hypothesis of the study. However, hypothesis is different from research questions, as unlike research question, it can predict the outcome of the research. So here, Wimmer and Dominic discuss the different criteria for good hypothesis, which are mentioned below. Compatible with current knowledge, logical consistency, succinct and testable. So first, compatible with current knowledge. The researcher should formulate a research hypothesis, which should be compatible with the existing literature on a particular topic. Secondly, it should be logically consistent. The hypothesis should be logical in the sense that whatever the causal relationship, the hypothesis intends to establish between the variables. It should be reliable in terms of testing statistically. Succinct, uh, it means formulation of hypothesis should avoid vagueness in the statement. Rather, it should be concise and specific. The last one is testable. A testable hypothesis implies the practical applicability of rationality of the statement which can be tested with some statistical measurement such as t-test, f-test, etc. Hypothesis uh, testing deals with two types of statement, null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. A null, null hypothesis is a statement which asserts that there is no causal relationship between the variable which is symbolically present, presented as H, H0. On the other hand, an alternative hypothesis is the predictions which states that there is a causal relationship between the variables of the phenomenon under study. A researcher rarely intends to prove the null, null hypothesis and if it is rejected through statistical tests, the alternative hypothesis is accepted as ultimate result of the study. So here some of the references I have used in, in the discussions. Uh, so you you can you can study uh, you can read these two uh, two books. Uh, one is research methodology methods and techniques and the author is uh, C. R. Kotar, Kotari and uh, the other one is mass media research and introductions by Wimmer and Tomini. I hope you have understood the concept of research problem and other related topic, uh, topics such as formulations of research questions and hypotheses. Thank you for listening.